Hey guys, we're back. That's right, and we got some really good news for the Hooven pre-orders. We got our final prototype in, and we've been putting it through the ringer. We've really been shooting this thing a lot. Uh, wanted you guys to know first the semi-automatic function everybody's been concerned about works awesome. The regulator's adjustable, just like they said it was. It's uh, I'll have to explain to you a little bit about how it works, but uh, let me show you the Hooven. The Hooven's here. Uh, we'll be getting these out to you guys really quick. This is like I said the final prototype and what we're doing is we're having all the rest of them air freighted in now that we have all the upgrades that we've asked for. The Hubin, uh, don't know how well you can see it from here. I'll put some close-ups in on it, but there are two main adjustments on the Hubin. There's one right up under here, which is the regulator, actual regulator adjustment. And then this right here is kind of a transfer port choke. You can dial it in to lower your velocity or out to raise your velocity it just blocks and unblocks the transfer port basically um, the way these things work that's really all you need to adjust once you adjust your regulator you're not going to have to keep fiddling with it it has a gauge on the back that shows your regulated pressure and it has a, a small green area and you keep it right in the center of the green area once you set it up you can forget about it and just dial this for your heavier or lighter pellets we're finding that it is kind of pellet picky and that's what we're doing right now is trying to see what pellets it's going to shoot the best we're shooting some cast bullets in it also and we're casting some really heavy bullets with it the heavy bullets that were on the original Hooven video Mr. Hooven did send some of those they do tend to shoot a little more accurately than the standard JSV pellet so we're going to get into that a little more in depth in another video right now I just wanted to let you guys know we do have the finalized prototype the Hoovens do exist and they do work really well we're going to shoot it a little bit out back I'm going to let Buck explain to you a little bit about it, how it shoots, and what it shoots like. Okay? We'll turn it over to Buck. <clears throat> Alright guys, we're going to walk through a little bit of the functionality of the Hooven. Uh, we got our crony set up so we could dial it in and show you all just the range that this regulator works. Uh, like Mike was saying, the, re the regulator is functioned through here and it's more like a transfer port, so that's actually where you're going to control your velocity. Alright, I'm going to turn the crony on here. And y'all should be able to see this. All right, we're going to dial this to its lowest setting. I'm going to go all the way in on it and back it out just a little. Hooven also stated that we shouldn't turn it all the way in or turn it all the way out. Just turn it up a little bit. And like Mike said, we've been shooting a lot of pellets, so I'm going to push some out of the way here. <clears throat> I've already got it loaded. Uh, later on, we can walk you through how to actually load it, but I've, also, I've already got the 19 round um, magazine loaded. All right, let's get you some numbers. Put it to fire. Four twenty two. Four thirty two. Four thirty two. Four twenty eight. Four twenty six. All right, that's its lowest setting, pretty much. We'll go a little bit down. Open it up a little. Now I'm going to show you the potential of the Hooven K1 because this puppy right here will throw it out the barrel. As you can tell, this thing will throw some lead. So I've only got about four or five pellets left, so I'm just going to go ahead and spin them. <clears throat> And this thing's fun to shoot, guys. It really is. I enjoy shooting a lot. Uh, we've been shooting a lot to see, get a better group, see what kind of pellet it likes best. Like Mike said, we're actually casting some heavier bullets to see if it likes those better. All right, guys, that's uh, that's pretty much how the Hoobin's functionality and stuff. And like I said, I want to take you through the process for how to load it. It's got a lever right here, right on the side of the regulator gauge. You're going to flip that up. 
and that's going to release your rotary magazine to where you can turn and load it. It's got a little uh, loading port right here. <clears throat> you can load them one at a time, two at a time, either or. Put your two or one in, spin it over to the loading port and continue the process. And it's a 19 round magazine so it's going to take you a little while to load it. And this is not your standard air tubes, titanium air tube, capable of 5,000 PSI fuel. Many more shots than regular 3,000 PSI fuel at that. And with it being ex externally regulated, you can adjust it even further to get more shots per fuel if you even fill it to 3,000. That's another reason we wanted to get a good compressor in the lineup so we could get y'all a compressor that was a high PSI of compressor that way y'all could feel just I mean anything for that matter not just an air gun but you'd be able to feel the hooven of the 4000 PSI alright I've got my magazine loaded and you just turn your lever back down and that's gonna lock the rotary and you're ready to fire I've already taken y'all through the process of uh, what it'll do as far as crony numbers I'm gonna turn this back to zero and I've got it. I'm going to keep it all the way supersonic. And I'm just going to let this one eat. <clears throat> and as you can see, you can go through that 19 round magazine pretty quickly. And like I said, it's a blast to shoot. And you're going to have a lot of fun shooting too. And like you said, Mike said earlier, we want to make sure that you're satisfied with this 100%. And we're not going to send it out the door until we're satisfied with it 100%. <clears throat> also guys we just got our barrels back from blueing got our uh, breeches etched and got our uh our name laser engraved on the breech i don't know how well y'all can see this just how it turned out looks great we decided not to do it on both sides so i mean that's a little flashy for both sides so we just did it to the one i think it looks great right now we don't have a shroud in design but this is how she's gonna come, stop. The shroud that we do have is carbon fiber, and that is an optional upgrade. This is actually the P30 we took to the lasso shoot in uh, Fullville, Texas. And this is a carbon fiber shroud upgrade. I think this looks awesome. It looks awesome the way it is with just the barrel and it looks like a sniper rifle on the P12, but this is an upgradable option if you're interested in that. And uh, I just wanted to explain to y'all that we got them out. So the guys that did order the P30s, we shipped them out today actually. We've been behind, busy as usual, but we got them shipped out the door and they will be to you momentarily. Well guys, that's the, the long and the short of the Hooban and what's going on with it. We're going to be sending the guys that did the, the pre-sale an email and getting all the specifics down on, on the dates and exactly when and, and that kind of thing. Uh, we do the remainder of your payment and all that kind of stuff. There is one other thing I was wanting to mention. Most of you know that we've been working on a high pressure air compressor for a long, long time. Uh, we had a couple of them that are real similar to others. They, they work fairly well. They have their good side and downside. Most of them are simply an electric powered hand pump. They work very well, but can be a little bit slow. What we wanted to do is get a high speed compressor, 4,500 PSI, with all the whistles and bells, or basic unit however you wanted to do it at under a thousand dollars and that's what we've done we've got our prototype of it in here we've been using it this is the new mrodair.com 4500 psi compressor it's a three-stage water-cooled unit it comes basically with some basic features and I'm gonna go over those here in a little bit we're gonna cut away I'll do some up close and personal stuff about this compressor the quality of the compressor and all the specs I really appreciate you guys that went in with us on the Hooban. I wanted to, do, to let you know how much I appreciate that. And I want to repay you by making sure that these guns are right. I know it's taken a while. They were supposed to be in a month or so ago. We're making sure that they're right. When you pay that kind of money for an air gun, when I have to pay that kind of money for an air gun, it needs to be right. We've got them right. They're working great. And they're on their way to you. We're, we're not going to send anything out of the shop you're not 100% satisfied with. Trust me. That's right. 
This is a better look at the mrodair.com HPA compressor. This is a four stage compressor. It's real light, compact, about 18 inches wide, 16 by 16 inches, and just under 40 pounds. This is a four stage compressor. It has a crankcase, it's an oil type. Okay. It has some pretty simple controls on the top, this prototype does. It has a regular pressure gauge, it has a temperature gauge, it's reading in Celsius, and of course an on-off switch. And we're upgrading this compressor with a few extra components, and I'm going to show you some of those and what they do. First off, we have here an adjustable pressure cutoff. You've seen these on a lot of the compressors that are made nowadays. We have another temperature gauge that actually works as a temperature, high temperature shutoff. So if, if you start getting a, a little warm or anything like that, instead of burning up your compressor, this thing will shut off either with pressure or temperature. It has a little reservoir that has the sensors in it for recirculating and a new style pump. I'm going to show you a little bit about our radiator cooling on this model. This is the new radiator we're using. They don't come with this from the factory. We're upgrading it with a, a copper radiator. This unit starts at under a thousand dollars, guys. This particular unit is 220 volt. The ones that they are sending us for home use are 110. They're not a high amperage draw compressor, but they are very, very high output, and they they fill your tanks really, really fast. I want to show you a little bit more about this as time goes on. We'll air a few things up with it, show you how it works and performs. I'm really impressed with this compressor. Most of you guys know that we've been working on a compressor for quite some time and we've gone through several different models and versions. They've all sold really well, but I want the best on the market for the money. This is it, guys. Here we go, baby. That's how the hoop and get down.